Hey guys, it's Alan. Uh, we're in the shop again tonight, and guess what we're working on? Yep, that's right, the Ranger. Um, just uh, nothing serious uh, this time. Just I've been uh, kind of struggling with some heat issues, and um, uh, it's never overheated, but it's gotten a little warmer than I would like. So I'm going to try and fix that. Um, so a couple things here that. I want to show you that I've done and, and what I'm getting ready to do and uh, so that's what tonight's video is about. I thought I was being really clever um, when I installed the EFI system. It came with its own fuel pump relay. You can kind of see that back there and a fuse. So all I needed for the ECU to control my fans was a relay. So I thought, well heck, I got this. This relay right here, as you can see, is the OEM fuel pump relay. I already had 12 volts on it, I already had a fuse. Um, so I thought, well, hey, I'll just repurpose this to be my primary fan relay. Grand idea. All I had to do was run one wire. Well, the problem I'm having is with this particular fan, um, I don't know what the deal is with it other than it, it's it's drawn probably low to mid 20 amps in uh, normal mode and then when it turns on it's spiking is the only thing I can figure and so the fuse that controls the power side of this relay is this little 30 amp fuse right here and with these little guys here you can't get a bigger fuse I was thinking if I could get another 5 amps on that and do a 35 it would be more than sufficient, but I can't. So, and when it does work, I'm still struggling a little bit on the heat. So we're gonna try and fix both issues. Been doing some research and I think I'm gonna go with a permacool, a couple of permacool fans. Um, and I'll, uh, when I get them in, I'll uh, show the installation on this, but as you can see here, there's really no room for a polar style fan. Um, it's possible if I take these off, which those are came out of a server um, that I stripped. It's possible I could get a small polar in there. Very possible. Actually, the more I look at it, I'm thinking, hmm, that might be a little more possible than I'm thinking. But I'll have to do some measuring here. Um, but what I had set up originally is the primary fan is a 12 inch auxiliary fan, they call it. And it just isn't getting the job done. I've got some space over here, here. So I'm looking at um, maybe going with a permacool 10 inch or 11 inch primary fan and then putting a smaller secondary fan over here trying to get it so I don't completely block the front because I would like to have cooling, you know, ram air cooling as you're driving down the road. So that's what we're working on. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get this over on the stand. So to kind of expose the radiator, there's, you gotta take the top piece here off and mine's broke, it's old. One of these days I'm gonna replace it and kind of monochrome out this whole front end, I think. Um, but Today's not the day. Um, so all you got to do, there's one, two, there's four screws on each side of this piece. Like I can say it's normally one piece, but since mine's broke in the middle here, so it's a two piece. So we'll take those off. These have been on and off so many times, it's pretty simple really. Um, Okay, so that takes that piece off, and these, all right, so that's all there is to take that top piece off, um, got to find a place to put my screws so I don't lose them. I will set them. Nah, I don't want to set them there. Set them over here. 
Okay, so now to take the grill off, there is four screws. Pretty easy. And this is on a 94 Ranger, I'm going to assume. I've not checked, and so this is unverified data, but I'm going to assume anything all the way up to 2011 is probably going to be similar. But again, I'm, I'm not positive, so don't, don't tell me I'm an idiot and I'm wrong because I'm already saying I'm an idiot and I'm, I could be wrong. Um, all right, so that is all there is to taking a grill off. There's just four little feet that stick down in holes right here and then it just comes right off and that exposes the whole front. So now I'm going to go set my screws over here. Okay. Now you can get a better look at what I did before. And you can kind of see down in here, this right here is the fan I use. It's a, I think they call it a swirl blade or something like that. And yeah, it just isn't moving the kind of air I think we need. So I'm looking at other options right now. Right now, Permacool has the, the highest claimed cubic feet per minute rating. I question that. Um, when I called and talked to him and kind of tried, I asked him kind of, is, is this accurate? And he really didn't answer me. Um, so I don't know. I, I can't say how accurate it is because I don't know. Um, but as you can see on the left side here, I've got some radiator space. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting maybe a 10 inch on this side and or 11 inch on this side and maybe a 10 inch on that side or an eight inch even. I gotta go, I'll have to look at those. Or as I look at it, maybe I'll, I'll uh, put the eight inch on the back side if there's enough room. I'd love to have a polar because they're more efficient and it opens up more of the grill it's just super tight on space. So that's what we're doing. Um, probably in order to, as you can, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is the AC condenser. Um, I'm trying to keep the factory AC in it and it's working, it's all charged up. Um, so I'd like to keep that. So what I'm gonna have to do, and this one is uh, with those zip ties that they have to go through the fins, this one it just goes through the condenser coil. Um, so what I have to do is I think I'm gonna have to take, drain the radiator out, take the top hose off, and that will allow the radiator to tilt back some. I'm hoping it'll allow it to tilt back enough that I don't have to lower the bottom hose or take the bottom hose off because that just makes a mess. And um, that's what I'm hoping for. We shall see. We shall see. It, it'll be close. So anyway, that's what's going on. That's a quick little update. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a happy 4th of July. Uh, I know we are. Uh, we're going to do some camping and have some good times. And um, So that's, that's it. Have a good one. And, and I will update this video or publish a new one once i select my fans and have a good idea of what i'm doing and they come in and maybe you can follow me along as i do the installation thanks a lot have a good one and if you like what you see uh, like and subscribe we really appreciate it